Currently, I'm in St. Thomas, which is located in the U.S. Virgin Islands, shooting a new short film that will feature its diverse landscape. Now, for a lot of the shots that I'll be doing for the shorts, I'll be shooting in hard-to-access locations. And in order to capture these shots, I'll be using a new product from Kessler that was designed as a perfect solution to help capture these shots. So, what I want to do in this video is show you the features, assembly, and use of the Pocket Jib Traveler. The Kessler Pocket Jib Traveler was designed to fit into the Ultra Jib category of products. Like other similar jibs on the market, the key features are its size and portability. However, there are a few features of the system that set it apart from other similar jibs on the market. Unlike other ultra portable jibs, the Kessler Pocket Jib Traveler has drag control and locks. The drag control and locks are great for fine tuning the way in which you operate your jib. To control your side to side movement, there's a lever on the base of your jib. To adjust your drag, simply tighten or loosen this lever. If you tighten this lever, you've added drag to that side-to-side -side movement. If you lock it off, you've locked off that side-to-side -side movement. To control your up and down movement, you need to use this knob on the side here. If you loosen it up all the way, you have free range of movement on the jib. However, if you tighten it up, you've added tension or drag to your move. And again, you fine-tune to how you like to operate the jib. And then to lock it off, you simply Tighten that screw and you've locked off your up and down movement. Another great feature of this system is that it completely folds up with no protruding elements, which makes it easy to strap to a backpack or put in a suitcase. For the short film that I'm shooting that require the use of a jib, I'm able to carry a jib, tripod, slider, and all my camera gear into these hard to access locations. Although it was possible to bring this type of gear into these locations before, it is a lot easier to bring this gear into these locations with the development of this product. Most other similar jibs also require you to break them down into multiple pieces. However, the Pocket Jib Traveler is self-contained in one unit, so you don't have to worry about misplacing parts or the amount of time it would take to assemble jibs with multiple pieces. The Kessler Pocket Jib Traveler also bodes a higher weight capacity than other similar sized jibs while maintaining a lightweight design. It was engineered with weight-reducing window cuts done in a way that maintains its structural integrity. Your overall weight of this system is five and a half pounds, five pounds when you remove the sliding weight bar. As for the overall weight capacity, this system can support up to 10 pounds. One of the reasons why the system can support up to 10 pounds is a center mounted camera platform, which aids in the system's overall stability. Another feature of this system is the way in which you balance it. Most other ultra jib balance ratios force you to use more weights. However, the pocket jib traveler was designed with a telescopic adjustable weight bar that allows you to use less weights than systems with shorter fixed length weight bars. <music> Setup of the Kessler Pocket Jib Traveler is extremely easy. Although it was designed to quickly snap into the Kessler Quick Release system, you can also mount it with such things as a 100 millimeter ball mount or 3 8 stud mount. For this setup, I'm gonna use the Kessler Quick Release System. So I'm gonna take the jib, drop it into position and lock it down. You'll then wanna take your strap and loosen it and then take the rear section, swing it out and then slide it into the chassis of the jib. You'll notice there's a Kessler Quick Release plate attached to the front here. This jib was designed to have this plate attached for a fast assembly. So what you want to do when you are setting this system up is take this locking basket, flip it over, pull the pin out, drop the basket into place, and then the locking pin into place as well. Similar to other Kessler jibs, the Kessler Pocket Jib Traveler has adjustable lock pockets. To adjust them, simply loosen this top screw and the bottom screw, and then extend the arm and then tighten down the screws, ensuring the relation between upper and lower lock pockets are the same. Now, unlike other jibs uh, that use friction, you don't have to worry about the jib slipping because of the lock pockets. Now, the next thing I wanna do is balance the jib, and there's a few different options. For this shot, I'm gonna use the standard weights to balance off the system. So I'm gonna grab the retaining ring, the counterweights, and then attach the counterweights to the sliding weight bar. Take the retaining ring, slide it onto the sliding weight bar. 
You'll also notice there's a little indent on the sliding weight bar, so you never have to worry about the retaining ring falling off. Now the last thing I want to do is fine tune the weight and right now you'll see that the system is front heavy. So what I'm going to do is take the sliding weight bar, loosen it and slide it out till the system is balanced. And it's right about there where it's balanced so I'm going to lock it down and we've now balanced the system. Now if you're out in the field and you don't want to bring these weights with you, you can also attach such things as sandbags or other similar solutions. What you would either do is hang the, hang the bags directly from the sliding weight bar or the arm of the jib here, or you can use a carabiner hook and attach uh, in that sort of way. Now one thing you want to be aware of when you are using that solution is that you may experience some sway on your faster movements. So when you were operating the jib, just be aware of that. Operating the Kessler Pocket Jib Traveler is extremely easy. The first thing you want to do is make sure it's fully balanced, and you do that by loosening the knob that controls your up and down movement. So I'm going to loosen this knob, and you'll notice right now that the jib is front heavy. So what I need to do is take that sliding weight bar, slide it out until the jib is balanced. So I'm going to take the sliding weight bar, take the screw that controls it, loosen it, and then slide it out. And you'll know it's fully balanced when you let go and it comes to a complete rest. So right here is where the jib is balanced. So I'm gonna take that sliding weight bar screw, screw it in, and we've now balanced the jib. The next thing you wanna determine is if you wanna have any drag control when you are operating. As a starting point, I highly recommend loosening up the drag control in the uh, direction of the movement you're wanting to do. So if you wanna do an up and down movement, loosen up that up and down movement screw and have no drag on your movements. However, if that doesn't quite feel how you would like it to feel, feel free to add some drag, but I find when it's totally loosened, I get the smoothest moves. Kind of using the inertia of the jib to control that movement. So for this shot, what I want to do is start with the camera down low, and then I'm going to slowly jib up to reveal more of the water. Right about there. And you'll notice I'm only using two fingers on the movement because I'm using that inertia of the jib and kind of letting the jib do the work for me. Because of its size and portability, the Kessler Pocket Jib Traveler is a great solution for a variety of shooting environments, including hard to access locations such as rooftops or mountaintops, low impact shooting environments such as weddings or house tours, travel if you hope to pack in a suitcase, and a variety of other situations as well. It's also great when you can't bring a full-size jib or crane with you. If you have any questions or would like to find out more, please visit KesslerCrane.com.